ciao. You wanna help me with this video? I think she does. After a whole week of staycation here in Berlin, I have taken the train and traveled to the northwest of Germany where I've spent eight beautiful days and seven nights. I literally came back last night and still haven't unpacked. As you can see, this means that I have to unpack this morning and I can do it on camera so you all can see what I've packed for this trip. I am a naturally curious, nosy person and I really, love taking a peek at what people have in their bags because I think it says a lot about the person itself. So I love making these type of videos. I love watching these type of videos. They can be fun, relaxing, interesting. So I thought, why not? And actually unpack with me videos, I think are a little better than pack with me videos because at the end of the trip, you really can share how much of all the things you brought you actually ended up using. A little bit of information before before we head into the content of the bag. Like I said, northwest of Germany, um, on the coast, um, eight days, seven nights. Uh, the purpose of the trip was purely and entirely holiday relaxation, um, you know, spending quality time. The weather was supposed to be pretty nice, um, kind of, but already on the you know, fall autumnal side of things. So I needed a wardrobe that could be, you know, look cute, put together, whatever. I don't like, you know, looking sloppy when I travel, but still I wanted clothes that could be useful and functional for multiple types of weather, from sun to rain, to chilly temperatures and wind, all of it. I traveled purely and entirely just with a carry-on plus a little small bag um, where I've put all of my essentials in. The only thing that uh, was planned, really scheduled for this trip was a concert in Hamburg. The whole trip wasn't scheduled around this concert, but this happened to be on the days where we already were close to Hamburg. So we kind of like thought, why not? And we taken advantage of the proximity to Hamburg and made a day trip there. Okay, enough with the blabbering, Jen. Let's get into it. Toiletries. Since I was traveling by train and not by plane, I didn't need, oh, hello, that's my assistant. I didn't need to separate the liquids from the rest. So all of my toiletries, everything that I needed is in here. I'm gonna put a little clip of the content so you have an idea of what I normally carry with me when I travel. Glasses, a smaller bag. They used to be called fanny packs. Now they're called hip bags. It's pretty much the same. <laughs> I needed a small bag to kind of like just carry the essentials. And also I brought this with me to Hamburg because in Germany, usually in concert venues, they don't allow very large big bags. So I always carry like a little um, hip bag that I can carry here on my chest. So I never lose sight of my essentials and they are here nice and secure. And the bag is super small and light, doesn't take up a lot of space. This packing cube contains undergarments, so bras, underpants, socks, and my pajamas. A mini pouch with a few accessories, and I mean a pair of earrings that I didn't use at all, a necklace, and a few bangles that I did use pretty much every day. Reading material. Two lightweight sweater slash long sleeve tops for layering and for warmth and to have a little bit of a wardrobe variety. This pouch contains my supplements and my RA medication. This is something that I never ever do when I travel. I never go shopping with the intention of, you know, I need something and I'm gonna go in a store and look for clothes but it just happened to be extremely easy. It, it just very randomly happened and it happened to be extremely easy for me to find two pieces that I needed from a wardrobe. So I have a brand new t-shirt and a pair of mom jeans. 
this is my laundry bag. And as you can see, it's still full because I just literally opened my suitcase and this contains all of my dirty, stinky clothes. I always bring a laundry bag with me because I never ever want to pack my dirty, stinky clothes in the exact same space without any kind of separation with my clean clothes, so. A few t-shirts. I like to have options, so I always pack one extra t-shirts or two eventually, but I didn't use all of them, but I was happy I brought them. You never know. One pair of jeans and a dress. suitcase is empty. Also for reference, I'm going to insert a clip of the things that I worn as a travel outfit, which was pretty much this. So this cardigan, this jeans, and one single pair of shoes. This is the bag that I brought with me for the train trip and this contains all of my essentials so I don't have to go digging through my suitcase if I need something important. House keys, handkerchief. I'm a pouch person if you still can't tell. This is what I call the miscellaneous pouch. This has from tinted lip balm to mints, to hand sanitizer, to ibuprofen, to whatever I might need. It's all in here. Sunglasses. Wallet. Water bottle. Duh, I never travel without this. My electronics pouch. This contains my headphones, my phone charger, and my portable power bank, which I didn't use at all because luckily I barely looked at my phone the whole time. Notebook and pen, which I also didn't use, but I like having with me. Some more reading material. I brought way too much of it, but. And then finally, something that I never bring on trips with me, my laptop. I knew that I was going to be by myself uh, for the train ride back to Berlin and it was more than like about four hours train ride and I wanted to bring my laptop so I could work on a couple of videos and I also ended up using this uh, for like one of the days that I was staying there so I actually used it and that my friends is all. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have enjoyed taking a look into the content of my travel bag. If this is the case and you have found this video to be helpful, relaxing, entertaining, interesting, whatever, then don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below. You can share this video with whomever might, you know, enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.